guys what's going on my name is louis today is october 22nd 2024 and god bless to every single one of you guys make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell we have a big breaking news red alert coming out over 49 are sick and one has passed from a severe blank outbreak linked to mcdonald's let's stop here for a moment Guys, I'm skipping certain words because this platform is really strict when it comes to stories like this. So, again, I got suspended multiple times, so I got to be careful on this one here. Number two, um, it's strange that this breaking news is coming out because two days ago, Donald put on the apron working at Mickey D's. And this story here, it was trending. I mean, everybody tuned in to see Donald put on the apron, flipping burgers, working at McDonald's, and handing people their food. And he actually paid for it, too. So um, everybody loved it. Everybody's like, wow, this is uh, amazing. And now all of a sudden, two days later, boom. Big trouble at Mickey D's. All right, guys, before I start, uh, I just want to bring a uh, very important uh, update. I post one in my other channel. We have a very close family member who needs prayer. She's very young. She just gave birth to a baby boy, beautiful baby boy. And uh, right now, you know, she's uh, um, applying for a job. She actually has a job and uh, she's working on the transportation. Please pray for her. Uh, and pray for her baby boy. Uh, we also uh, shared her PayPal link if you guys want to help out uh, when it comes to supporting her, uh, when it comes to, you know, diapers or, you know, baby wipes or onesies. Um, again, it's really, really, really tough situation for her. Very tough. So she's, uh, you know, she's taking care of her baby boy and uh, she about to work pretty soon. So if you guys want to help her out, uh, I'm sharing her PayPal link. Her name is Hannah. And uh, again, very close family member. Um, and it's really hard nowadays to raise, you know, a child, especially a single one. So if you can, the most important thing is please pray. Pray for her and pray for her son, a baby boy, you know, a couple of months old. And uh, thank you so much for the support. Again, the PayPal link will be in the description box and the comments box. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. we also going to share a Amazon uh, link, the, the wish link. I think that's what they call it. And it's going to have, like, you know, again, all the stuff there. If you guys want to, you know, help out when it comes to diapers and stuff like that and help her, you know, uh, with, you know, getting back to her feet. And it's not easy. It's not easy for everyone. And you guys know in this channel, you guys know in this channel, we help out everyone. We help out families that have multiple young ones. Uh, again, we don't want to put too much information because, again, it's, you know, it's something that you do in private. So, um, and we do help out many young ones and ship so many Bibles to young ones around the world. You guys have been part of that movement. So, and pretty soon we're going to be doing the Bibles, uh, shipping Bibles to the young ones. So thank you so much for your support. And uh, let's see what's going on with this news here. All right. So you have, uh, ooh, I'm, I'm just going to say the CD. All right. I'm not going to say that last letter. It's reporting that over 49 from 10 states have become severely impacted to a huge event. Well, pestilence, put it like that. The majority of those impacted are from Colorado, which has 27 cases, and Nebraska, which has nine. Ten have been sent to the ER. And one older individual in Colorado has passed. And again, my deepest condolences and prayers to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. Additionally, one young, oh, a young one is currently, oh man. And we need to pray for that young one. He's in a um, ER, ER facility. 
everyone interview reported eating at McDonald's before their, you know, what began, with many specifically mentioning having a quarter pounder. Isn't that Donald's favorite food, the quarter pounder? Um, following this news, once again, Mickey D shares have dropped ten percent in after hours trading. It's just strange that all this is happening right after, you know, Donald put on the apron. Watch as uh, the four fifth arrives at Mickey D's in Pennsylvania to a cheering crowd. He takes order, operates the fryer, and serves food with a grin, all while joking. I have now worked 15 minutes more at Mickey D's than the VP. Staff and customer laughed. They laughed! <laughs> As he poses for selfies, I guess didn't like that. Hands out meals and shake hands with supporter outside. Hundreds of people wait in line, hoping to catch a glimpse of the former leader in action. Mm. Two days later, warning, 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 warning. Mm. Yeah. All right, so let me pull up the article here, guys. Give me a second. Okay, so one person has passed and dozens have fallen, you know what, following a severe event linked to Mickey D's called a pounder. Wow. Hmm. So Sunday he worked, Tuesday this happens. The event which began in late September, so... It's been happening way before Donald put on the apron. Okay, so the event, which began in late September, has spread across 10 western uh, states, with most of the 49 cases concentrated in Colorado and Nebraska. Now, shares in the fast food chain dropped more than 8% in after hours trading following the announcement. 10 have been taken to... uh, the hospital, you know what? Including one young one. Wow. I'm just gonna highlight it. I can I can't say the name, guys. I can't say the name. And again, this platform has a strict policy when it comes to all this. So a serious condition that uh, wow damages the uh, vessel in the ooh. Kidneys. Wow. So what is it? I mean, what's in that? I mean, we talked about Make a D a couple of times. And uh, you guys know there's some certain stuff in there. I mean, it just... Mm -mm. I mean, you have to ask yourself, what's really in it? One older person in Colorado has passed. All impacted carry the same strain. And once again, it's the E. And I'm going to skip that name there. I truly totally apologize, guys. And reported eating the quarter pounder before developing their symptoms. So it's the quarter pounder. It seems like everything else is good, everything else. But uh, it seems like the quarter pounder. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's Donald's favorite one, the quarter pounder. While investigators have not yet pinpointed the exact ingredients causing the event, they are focusing on slivered, slivered onions and beef patties, both of which have been removed from restaurants in the affected states pending further investigation. Quarter pounder hamburgers in some states may be temporarily unavailable. Wow! Okay, um, if you guys are planning going out to McDonald's, you, again, quarter pounder is not going to be available in certain states. Matter of fact, leave. Leave 
the Mickey, you know what these. The agency advised those who consume a quarter pounder and develop uh, symptoms uh, such as diarrhea and fever over 102. Wow. And vomiting to seek attention immediately. Once again, symptoms typically begin three to four days after exposure, and most individuals recover within five to seven business days. Excuse me, five to seven days without treatment. Once again, however, some cases can become severe and require, you know, the rest. All right, so Mickey D's did not immediately respond to a request for comments. Wow. Give me a second here, guys. So it seems like I'm seeing some of the comments and some people are saying, well, they're going to be blaming Donald for it. Mm. But you guys know it's not his fault. It's not his fault. Mm. Once again, 10 states. Stay away from this. Wow. Let's see what's going on with this news here. All right, I'm just going to skip certain words here, guys. Um so it was reported between September 27 and October 11. Wow. Okay, so for some reason, this date has been popping up a lot. You guys already know that there was a very important bill that was passed, very important one. And that bill, uh, it gives the okay to law enforcement and possibly even the military that they could open FIRE on civilians when it comes to, for example, a uproar or a civil w a r and you guys already know september is around the corner i mean uh, november is around the corner all right so these are the states colorado iowa kansas missouri montana nebraska oregon utah wisconsin and wyoming colorado has the most cases 27 followed by nebraska with nine Jeez. Man. Everyone interviewed in connection with the uh, with this event had reported eating at Mickey D's before falling. <clears throat> and most mentioned eating quarter pounder. Wow. A specific ingredient has not been identified as the cause, but the investigator are focused on onions. And beef. Mm. Wow. So it seems like it's uh, some of the Mickey D says that uh, this could uh, be linked to onions. Onions. So in a statement, Mickey D official said that the initial findings suggest that some of this are linked to onions sourced from a single supplier. The company has halted distribution. Wow. Of the silver uh, slivered onions and temporarily removed the quarter pounder from menus in the affected state and also in portion of Idaho, Nevada, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. We take food safety extremely serious and it's the right thing to do. The statement said. The statement said. What is that? The statement said. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so I guess they don't want to, 
other, other words, they want to be anonymous. All right, so once again, this thing, uh, bacteria are harbored in the guts of animals and found in environment. Infection can cause severe, again, all that type of stuff. I'm just going to skip it because, again, like I said, I got hit many times from this uh, platform. Okay, so it could cause all this here. I'm just going to highlight it, all right? People who develop these um, should seek, um, again, a doctor. Hopefully, I don't get hit hard by that. All right, so I'm just going to skip the rest here. We already know that uh, McDonald's share dropped 9%. All right, I'm going to keep it updated on this one here, but uh, please stay away from all these fast food. Again, this the uh, saying, you are what you eat. You eat junk food, you are what you eat. So stay uh, stay healthy, put it like that. And, uh, you know, when it comes to, again, all that is cheap food, very cheap. I mean, you got, uh, what, 10 pieces of chicken nuggets? How much is that? 10 pieces of chicken nuggets, a meal with a large fries and soda, it's like $9.50. People, uh, people's going to be, um, be like, how Lewis know that? How does Lewis know the 10 pieces of chicken nuggets and fries and soda is $9.50? All right, so, again, this is where we at right now, guys. So, I will keep you updated, but it's, it's kind of strange that all this is coming out at the same time that... Uh, you know, two days ago, Donald put on the apron and people loved it. And believe it or not, McDonald's that day, yeah, they made money. But, uh, yeah, be safe out there. And um, multiple states are, you know, sounding the alarm. Quarter Pounder has been removed from the menu. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.